Hey everyone! First off, gonna say excuse the appearance. No makeup on. To have my gym clothes on still and I got red splotches all over my face. But I had to get a video out and I was kind of out of ideas. Leave ideas in the comments. I have some. I like to know what you guys want. And it said to do uh, equestrian pet peeves. And I was like, yes! Yes! Because I have pet peeves. But then I was watching a few of them because I was like, I don't actually really know what this is. So most of it is people posting what they don't like about people's riding. Me, personally, yes I have pet peeves in people's riding. Yeah, I think some people ride terribly. But I was like, you know what, I'm going to do horse owner pet peeves because I am the silent judging type where I'm like, oh that girl, oh what's she doing, oh. Ugh. But like the riding I don't so much care about because in the show, if you're showing in the show ring that comes out and a judge is not going to like your riding, right? So pet peeves, I was like, here we go. I'm going to do it. I have none written down. I'm going to pull them out my hat. So I, being the silent judging type, I don't care what you do with your horse. I have my horse. You have your horse. My horse is better than your horse. So I don't like when people like will be like, so I feed my horse beet pulp right now, slowly getting him off, just trying to use up this bag, get some weight on him. He's a thoroughbred and he's just dropped a ton of weight and he needs weight on right now. So I was like, I'll just use this beet pulp. Also, by the way, if you guys have tips on getting weight back on a thoroughbred, I need those because right now he has two weeks off because I think he has dropped too much weight. Anyways, segue back to the topic at hand. People will come up to me and be like, you feed him beet pulp? Oh, I heard this about beet pulp. I heard this about beet pulp. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I've probably looked up what I'm giving my horse. I know what I'm doing. Keep your opinion here and I'll stay here. Thank you. That was like my first pet peeve because everyone likes to be in your business and it's like, <laughs> my horse. I'm gonna do what I want. Ah! And that is like a huge pet peeve of mine. And that probably makes me madder than anything in the world. You just have to stay true to you. And unless you're blatantly hurting a horse or you're blatantly mistreating it or, or doing something wrong, I will stay out of your business. You stay out of mine. You have your business, I have mine. It's not crossing over. Just let me take care of my horse. So pet peeve number two would have to be the people who don't know how to use an arena. You know, if you're gonna go wall, you call wall or inside, which I sometimes don't do, but I, may, I always make it very clear of what I'm doing. I'll use half the arena, the other half, whatever. Those people that blatantly run into you as a head-on collision just irk me. I have been known to ride green horses. I have been riding Randy. Well, I own him, who is very green. He is just off the track. He had no steering when I got him. Uh, before, I rode a horse named Rookie, who is very, he was just broke till it like all have been green horses very green horses untrained horses blah 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 not great steering or when I do get their steering and sometimes like I am on a young horse I'm more alert on them than people around me sometimes sometimes usually I'm still pretty good but I find myself on a horse with no steering have to like freaking go all over steer away Get out of your way on your horse that's so old it might drop or so broke that you've spent thousands of dollars getting it trained, but I'm still dodging. I'm freaking dodging ya. It's like, what the heck? What the heck? Irks me a lot. Pretty unhappy. Number three, this one's not a huge deal to me because like, I don't know, it bugs me, but then again, like, what can you do? There's people like this everywhere. There's people who have horses and don't come and see them. It sucks. Like, I mean, I get taking days off like this week. I get not being able to see them. But when you have them and you haven't been out for a year and you just e-transfer or like send money to people like just to take care of your horse, blah, blah, blah. Like you need to see your horse. You have an animal, you need to see it. It's like having a dog in your house. You need to take care of it. And if you don't, screw you. Into number four, this seems to be a very common occurrence. People who either don't ride or ride very badly or whatever like to tell you what to do and how to ride. Okay, yes, because your Google knowledge beats my trainer knowledge. The knowledge that my trainer gave to me, Google beats it. Yep, I get that. Not a fan. Not a fan of you. I've been Number five would have to be, and I know this is everyone's pet peeve, and it just really bugs me, is we all know those girls who are pretty green riders, 
beginners, even intermediate, but they get the horses, they buy horses they can't handle. And like, there's always that girl that's a green rider and decides to buy a horse to break. Or a too young horse that they can't handle. And that just blows my mind. So that's my equestrian pet peeves video, or my just in general horse people pet peeves. They're pretty common. See you guys next time. My nose looks huge! Look at that.